um hi guys how are you doing this is your girl ij um so today i have another video for you guys this is um this is a video on how i do my box weight this triangle method or the triangle pattern so i started it already i've already done like three lines and she wants it very big and it's a very very long long ones so i'm going to show you guys um how i do the pattern and if you have to if you want to see how i braid just let me know then i will do another video on that so are we using this hair by expression this is the this is the Remy Brown, the natural yaki Brown, and in the color 1b it's the 85 inches Okay, so we basically cut it into two halves and it gives us the very long length. So in all of this is um this is two packs that we have used. We have three more packs to go. I don't have a particular way on how I um I pat the hair or I section the hair. I just fill it with my fingers and I know if that size is enough or not. So let me show you guys how I do my pattern. So I have, um, I think I have a good section already. So normally what I use is a mixture of the jam, extra hole. Hope you guys can see good. The jam extra hole, I mix it with the blue magic organics um, castor oil hair conditioner. So I mix both of them to have this mixture. Then I apply it on my client's hair. So basically, apply it like so. This doesn't break her hair. It doesn't um, give you dandruff or whatever. So we get something like that then we're going to pack from an angle so 
sorry so I basically want to pad in such a way that it falls between these two so I'm taking it from an angle then I go up just to give that triangle effect there you go pat it just like that to watch how much hair you have though like so I'm not happy with it. I can hold it basically people have different ways of patting hair and of braiding so I um I normally do the three strand just like every other person but the way I hold my hair is different. I know some people do this and they hold it this way. But I hold mine differently. So I do this instead. So my thumb and my second finger goes in the middle of the of the loop. That's how I hold my hair. Then I grab the client's hair and then my thumb and my index finger go up on the client's hair then I can support it with my middle finger then I use not my index finger my second finger is the one that holds it in place while I start to braid so that's it now when your client has um, natural hair you want to make sure that you tug in the hair as much as possible so that her hair will not um, will not spike out after a day or two so this is my client's hair right here so all I do is so push it underneath and then I braid it. You braid that. So depending on how thick the hair is, I will pat my client's hair into three sections. But normally, I mean 80% of the times, I don't pat it. So I just braid it as one. And you don't complain of it pulling out or something. And um, I realized that when I do this technique or when I use this technique, my client can easily um, style her hair to any direction. Because if you look at this, it can go to any direction. It can go to any direction. So that's why I don't pat the hair into three or into three halves. It goes to any direction. So that's just my little technique on how to grab the edges or to grab my client's hair such that it doesn't pull out from the wood or something. You know, with experience, you will definitely um, know exactly what to do. You know what is good and what is wrong. But, I mean, it's not everybody that has an experience that does a perfect job, though. So... So there you go. So I'm going to pad the other section so you guys can see. Okay, still at an angle. So this one comes from this angle, then it goes down. So it falls in between this hair, this one right here. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it again. So this is the hair and it's, it's I'm dividing into three parts. So what I do is I place my my thumb and my second finger 
in the loop. Then I use my thumb on my second finger of my left hand. Then I grab the entire hair. What I do is I twist it as much as possible so that it has a lower, um, it's small enough. Then my thumb on my, egg, on my second finger of my right hand is what grabs the hair. Then I pull the hair in between the loop. Then my third finger is what holds the hair down. As you can see, it's holding down the hair. Then I use my second finger to go underneath the first and I grab the second hair or the second section of hair. Then I use my left hand again and I do the same thing. So I hold my third finger, holds it down while I pull the other one at the back. So. Now, this is a video, this is YouTube. You can always go back to watch if you did not um, grab the concept from the beginning. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm trying to push my client's hair underneath the braid as much as possible so that her hair is underneath, not on top. Because when you have natural hair and you braid it and the hair is all over the place, in less than a day or two, um, in less than two days or three, your client's hair starts to spike out. And that doesn't, that doesn't look good at all. Because you want, you want your hair to last as much as possible. Because boy, that's money they're spending. So guys, that's basically how I grab the, I, I grab my client's hair and that's how I braid. Um, I'm going to come back with the finished look so that you guys will see the end result.